It's a tough decision. I could make videos about interesting technical things, or I could just go for the glamour of these fraudulent products that are kind of like amusing to take apart. And this is a different one. This is another of these power saving plugs. It came as one of a pair from AliExpress. You could only buy them as a pair for about $6. Compared to that to the price they're being sold at by the, the scammers. Let's uh, do some tests on it. Let's get the meter onto this. Actually, let's plug it in first. And we'll see if it shows any meaningful uh, stuff. I think these green lines here are going to light. I hope they do. That would look quite nice. Oh, I'm going to have to space this with one of these death adapters. So I shall plug the death adapter in, plug this in. It didn't blow up. Sadly, it appears to be just the two little lightning bolt things at the bottom, the two little sine wavy, well, well waveforms that are lighting up. Uh, what's it showing? It's showing 0.2 watts, that's not a lot. 26 milliamps, that suggests that the capacitor, if there is one, is fake. And a power factor of 0 0.04, which is typical what you get for the LED power supply. Okay. Well, that's kind of answered the question. I don't no need to use this tester anymore. But I will. I'll stick it on and we'll see if it measures any capacitor inside. I shall discharge it first with my fingers. So let's put the clips on. Well, let's set this to ambitiously 20 microfarad. I'll put the clips on and we'll see if we're getting anything. We're getting about 330 nanofarad, which drops to about 200 nanofarad, which is basically it's showing that's just the, the LED power supply. Boo. That makes me wonder now, is there going to be... A fake capacitor inside it. I do hope so. I, I, I want my fake capacitor. Where is my screwdriver? I have... There is the spudger. There's an avalanche of tools onto the bench. Uh, I think this is going to be the usual... Let's zoom down this. I think this is going to be the usual smash it through the label and unscrew type job. I wonder if this label actually covers a little... Oh no, the front label will cover the, the vents for the... The fake insect terrors. Oh, there is a fake capacitor in here. It's a similar circuit board. Is that the same circuit board as in the other one? It is, by the look of it, which means that the capacitor will, as they usually are, be connected to fake pads because it's not real. This isn't coming out. Hold on. Where is that? Where is that more pointier screwdriver? There's a pointier screwdriver. Try and get it in here and whip this circuit board out. So if you want to see the circuit board, does it have a discharge resistor? Bit late to ask that now I've actually whipped it off. Uh, does it have a discharge resistor? I'm not sure if it does. Oh yes, it does, I think. Um, that's the same circuit as before. And that means that the... Capacitor is tacked onto a lead that isn't connected, and it's connected onto one of the, the leads. So, and they've not used much resin, it's just basically they've used just enough to hold the wires in. Let's try and burst this part. Tell you what, that's going to make lots of noise. I shall just pause momentarily while I uh, start snapping this plastic apart. One moment, please. Yep, there's the layer of resin on top of sand. Just sand, a little pile of sand in there instead of anything useful. Um, so, yes, fake capacitor, fake circuitry. That does save me a bit of time because... Oh, no, I wish I hadn't put that there now. Here is the schematic from the last video. So I'll focus down onto that. We'll just go over it anyway. There's a fuse, there is the fake capacitor connection, there is a metal oxide resistor, there's a 470k discharge resistor, there's a 330 nanofarad, 630 volt um, dropper capacitor for the LEDs, then the most inefficient circuit possible. They could have put the two LEDs in series with one resistor and got double the intensity. And they've got a smoothing capacitor, which is nice, 100 megafarad, 25 volt, 510 ohm resistor, which is kind of seemingly pointless. Um, and as I say, they could have just stuck the two LEDs in series like that got double the brightness. They, they didn't because they're not very good at electronics. 
because I suppose really when it comes to crunch their special skill is being douchebags and scamming people. So that's um, another one of these scammy electricity saving boxes. If you've bought one, don't try getting your money back because you're dealing with scammers. Just the lesson you've learned is don't trust anybody. Um, if it seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Uh, a lot of these products are fake. There are no real energy saving boxes as such. There's a little uh, the little speaker thing, the piezoelectric speaker thing for the equally fake insect repellers and mouse repellers. But there we have it. It's a shame they didn't put LEDs behind here. They could have used loads of LEDs and made it look really great, but they didn't. If I designed it, it would have been still scammy, but so much visually nicer.